Hello students, uh, my name is Santosh Kumar and I am the course instructor for Machining Sciences and Tool Design. Uh, we are in module 1 that is uh, Metal Cutting Theory and Dynamometry. So in this uh, video we will discuss about topic uh, Theory of Lee and Shepherd. So Lee and Shepherd model uh, was the first attempt made to, to the, apply the plasticity theory uh, to the problem of uh, orthogonal metal cutting so they may in order to do this they made certain set of assumptions that is uh, they assumed that the material is rigid plastic and uh, the behavior of material is independent of rate of deformation so they neglected the effects of the temperature uh, the inertia effects resulting from acceleration of the material during deformation is neglected so these assumptions which they have made have led to useful solutions of many problems in plasticity uh, so this theory uh, should closely uh, approximate the actual behavior of the work material uh, during the metal cutting because uh, I strains and strain rates that occur in the cutting process. So also with uh, I strains encountered uh, elastic strain would form a negligible portion of total strain. So that is uh, merger portion will be of uh, plastic strain zone. Uh, so you can see the stress strain diagram for this case. So this stress strain curve uh, for work material would uh, correspond approximately to the ideal case. So that is ideal plastic case. So this is the straight line. Uh, so there is no elastic uh, strain region, only the plastic strain region. So this is a uh, cases of uh, ideal plastic. So the slip line proposed by Lee and Schaeffer for orthogonal cutting of a continuous chip is as shown in a below figure. So this is the slip line proposed by Lee and Schaeffer as you can see. Uh, the zone A, B, C, okay. in that uh, there is slip lines, so which is at an angle of 45 and uh, 135. So because the shear stress is maximum at uh, 45 and 135, so these are the slip lines where the shear stress is maximum. Uh, this, there will be a transmission of forces. This transmission of forces results in a triangular plastic zone A, B, C, that is uh, this zone from A to B, B to C and then C to A. So this is the triangular plastic zone uh, where no deformation occurs uh, but, the, uh, but the material is stressed to its yield point. So this uh, thus the maximum shear stress throughout this zone will be tau s. So that is uh, throughout this zone the maximum shear stress will be tau s. So Lee and Schaeffer got uh, equation for shear angle that is phi. So phi plus uh, pi by 4 plus tau minus alpha is equal to pi by 2 by this uh, uh, slip line. So how did they get that equation? I'll just explain it. So this is the alpha. So this uh, small angle will be alpha. And this small angle which is given here will be 45 minus tau. So as this is 45 minus tau, this is 90 and this angle will be so this is 90 uh, so this angle will be equal to 180 uh, minus 90 minus 45 minus so this should be in bracket for minus th uh, tau so this will be equal to uh, so 180 minus 90 is 90 90 minus 45 is 45 so i'll write 45 as a pi by 4 uh, and minus into minus is plus so pi by 4 plus tau so this angle is pi by 4 plus tau so and as this angle is phi so total angle will be equal to phi plus uh, pi by 4 plus tau so this is the total angle so if we to equate it to uh, pi by 2 that is 90 uh, I need to deduct the small angle here that is this okay as this is uh, alpha so this angle will also be alpha so i'll uh, subtract with alpha so this i can equate it to pi by 2 that is 90 degree because this angle is 90 so that's how we have, they have got this uh, equation uh, and i'll send this pi by 4 uh, onto the right hand side so i'll end up with the equation pi plus tau minus alpha will be equal to pi by 4 so this uh, which this is the required solution uh, shear angle solution so but this equation as you can see uh, if uh, 
alpha that is rake angle is very less that is if it is nearly equal to zero and uh, angle of friction is very high uh, which is nearly equal to pi by 4 that is 45 so then uh, this is zero uh, this one this gets cancelled then phi will be equal to zero so which is uh, not possible so this equation the not hold good, holds good when uh, alpha is less that is uh, it is zero and phi tau is very high that is equal to pi by 4 so this is the case where uh, if the rake angle is very less there then there is a friction will be high then there is a cases of chances of uh, built up edge formation so this equation will not holds good in case of built up edge formation so lee and sheffer proposed one more model uh, for built up edge prop, uh, built up edge uh, case so this is about uh, theory of lee and sheffer so we'll end this uh, video